Hello, I think hopefully you can hear me now. I am back. I just stopped the video so that we could delete it and I'll start from the beginning again. Um, hello and happy Tuesday. I hope you all are having a good week, had a great weekend. I am going to share with you today my project. Hi, Kim. Hopefully you can hear me. If you can give me just a little. Um, I, I didn't have the mic on. So anyway, I have it on and it's turned on, which is more important than just having it on. Hi, Liz. So I'm going to share with you all. Um, I don't know, what, Sue, what you're trying to say. I think, I think that means better now. Yeah, maybe better now. Okay. Yes, better now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to share with you all this yummy yarn. It's from Sweet Georgia. And um, maybe an idea that I might use it with. Um, but yeah, so um, it's fingering yarn. It's, these are colors that we picked out in uh, market and they just came in today. Or not today, late last week. So I'm super excited about so many of them. So I'm going to share them with you. And I, like I said, we'll talk about the projects. Um, I took my son to orientation yesterday and some, that has just drove to Georgia, um, Georgia Southern, had his orientation and drove back. But I, I am, it just wiped me out. I think I just must be getting too old for that. Um, but um, yeah, I snuck out of some of the sessions. I said, you know, it looks like this is on you, buddy. So you go do your thing and I'm going to find a couch and go knit, <laughs> which I did. And I'm thinking I'm probably tired too because he didn't drive at all. I drove the whole way. So um, anyway, let's um, start with this yarn that I have in my lap. It is Sweet Georgia. It is fingering weight yarn and it has 425 yards and it is a wool um, nylon blend. So great for socks. Um, so this color, which is so fun, is papaya. I think we might have had this color before. Papaya, right? So yummy. This one is so fun. This is lime. I think it would be great accent or color work. I actually have done a, a similar color that in uh, some color work. Where do I want to go with this? Let's see. This is a fun one. This is coastline. And again, this is sweet Georgia, tough, what do we call it? Tough sock, tough love sock. Look at that. See, not quite solid, but mm. all right. Oh, this one's really pretty. Somebody bought some of this to make a sweater with this weekend. Chili pepper. Look at that. And I struggled. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I struggled with these three. All right. This one is Luna. And this one is Odyssey. I love those greens. Oh my gosh. And then this one is um, Atlantis. I'll hold them all up for you again. Just beautiful. All right. Uh, so I'll show you what my picks were, if I can even remember, and what I'm going to make with it. When? I don't know. But that's, it's in my queue, for sure. Um, this is a great color. Oh, I already showed this one. I must really like this one. Didn't I show you Seaside? Or maybe I just put it back in. That's Seaside. Hi, Amy. How you doing? Um, it's a pretty green one here. This is Helios. I'm saying that right. Lavender. We might have had one or two of these colors before. And this pink, somebody just bought this to do a one skein shawl. Gorgeous. This is dragon fruit. But like, uh, you know, with some lace work in it, it's, it's just going to be beautiful. Jean's watching and Deborah. Hello, Deborah. And then this color, <sighs> Gemini. It's pretty too. Um, so yeah, so some really pretty, you can do some color work combinations, one skein projects with these. Um, I'm going to show you what I am picking and what I'm planning to do with it. But there's just so many colors in here that I want to do something with. I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I'm, I'm thinking after, I mean, I've been looking at this yarn for, for several days. So I'm thinking I'm going to do color work. This will be my main color, and this is going to be my flowers. And I think I'm going to do this Alpine Bloom. I've had this for a while in my, well, printed actually, in my, what I call my Bible. And I just haven't found the right yarns. And it's interesting how they did a very, you know, one that um, 
gradient, but I think I actually like it with a solid color or not, you know, like more of a solid. I think the flowers stand out more. I don't know. It just depends. That's what I like about Ravelry is to go to look at the patterns that other people have done and then you can see which ones you like. So this is, I think, this is what, what I'm going to do. Um, I think it looked like two skeins of this because there's 425 yards and one skein of this. I have to make sure about that because there is a lot of color work. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. Uh, it's called Alpine Bloom. Alpine Bloom. Okay. All right. So let's see. So, like I said, Sunday we traveled four hours and we got to see my daughter, my, one of my daughters, over in Georgia Southern, which is Statesboro. And um, we had dinner, but, you know, Sundays and Mondays, I do like to, especially Sundays, to sit in it a lot. Um, so I didn't get to do as much, but it was fine. It's fine. Um, so I did get to, I knitted a little bit on stuff, but my son, went, we went to go do his orientation but the morning sessions, it was parents and child together. And then you had lunch and then you kind of broke off and they did their own thing. And he saw me grab my knitting bag. He said, no, no, mom, you're not going to do that. And I'm, I don't know why, obviously, but I did, but I did. I found a room upstairs. It was really quiet. They had music playing and it was awesome. Okay. So I, I this top that I'm wearing, I'm going to stand up because I don't think you can see the stripes. Um, I made this, I don't know, a year, a couple years ago, but it's really fun. I have to find the name of it. I was trying to find it um, before I went on, but I forgot. You can do it in, obviously you could do it in a solid, like one color. Um, she also has instructions to do it striped like I did or blocked, you know, like um, more block color, color work. And it was fun, pretty quick. All right, so, and I will put the link up once I find it. And it's probably already linked somewhere. I just didn't have time to look for that. So anyway, um, let's start with my projects. Which one do I have on here first? Okay, so I can remember. Yes, okay. So the Luminos Tea, we actually have a class up for this. I just, you know, have found it very interesting to make it. It's a different construction. And you can really have some, a lot of fun with the colors you pick. Um, I, somebody was asking, um, I had, I'm trying to think what size I'm making, 41, 42, I think 42 finish maybe. And I had two skeins of the main color and I literally started the second skein somewhere in this vicinity, somewhere over here. And well, I guess I could probably look to be exact, but not, it's not, I haven't used much of the second skein and it's one skein of the contrast color. Now it depends on the size that you're making. Um, so I am, what I have to do now is pick up, um, not pick up, but do the ribbing um, for the neck. And I think I want, I think I might, it tells you to go down, I think a needle size. I might actually go down two and see, I, I just want it kind of drawn up a little bit more. I don't want it kind of, I don't want it over the shoulders or anything like that. And then she has a nice little finish um, where you get a crochet hook and you finish, can you see that right there? Yeah, right here. And I'm going to come in with a contrast color here. And then you also, she has you pick up around the arms. Um, what size did I make? Let's see, Sue, I'll tell you. Because I think it was the size three. I do know that. I just don't know what size that is. So size three. Let's see if I can jump to it real fast. Yes. Well, no. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So size three is a 42 finish. Finish. And I did, um, I did use a five, which I don't normally um, do a five. I tried to make it a little bit longer because there is a V in the front. And I wanted to make sure that it, I don't know, I wanted it longer. So, and I did add some repeats in the arm, the situation here, I think. Here, I think this one. Um, anyway, so this is the Luminos tea, and it's really fun. And like I said, you could have some really, have a lot of fun with some of these colors in here, right? Pop a color. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned. I, I knew I wasn't going to finish it for today. I would have liked to have. Um, but by the time I got home yesterday, uh, yeah. Um, so hopefully next week I will be wearing this one. This, yeah. I'm using um, bad sheep yarn. 
fingering, but um, any fingering would work, right? And mine just happened to both be bad cheap. I, I don't have a problem mixing brands, I guess is that what you call them? Vendors? Yeah, as long as it's the same weight. I don't have a problem. Okay, so that's that one. What's another? Okay, the other one that I was kind of excited about is the Lanakai. I think I'm saying that right. Lanakai Top. I can't remember what she called it, a T as well. Um, and I did actually get to separate the sleeves on this. I am using Sweet Georgia's Flaxen, and it is very lovely yarn. In fact, I'm considering it, I'm not sure I hadn't shown you all the front. I'm considering it with um, another pattern, which I might show you real quick too. Um, but this just a simple lace. Uh, there's obviously some increases, and now the body's just going to be knit. So, um, but it's just very, very lightweight and, and you know, flowy. It's a silk um, linen blend, Sweet Georgia. So you can find the pattern link on the yarn page as well. So, and it's Lanakai uh, using the flaxen. Let me show you another pattern that has made its way closer to my start list that I think that yarn would be good for too. It's this pleated top. I'm just, it's just so cute. I haven't done anything like it before. Um, it does call for a linen blend and it's a light fingering. Um, so I, I do think, here's a better picture of it. Um, where am I pointing? Right here. I like, here I like it that it's solid. It's not pleated all the way down. It's just here. It's kind of hard to tell that in the picture. So, and here's another picture of it. And the yarn that she uses is um, cotton, viscose, and the linen, 14% linen. So, anyway, that's going to be another fun one. I think a great summer top, but okay. I digress. All right, so Lanakai, there we go. And I don't know, I think I might be using a four on that. Size four needle. And again, um, for my size, I I've only got two skeins of yarn. I've, I'm still on my first skein for this one. All right. Another fun one, which was the one. Okay, this one. I had fun. I worked on my mom's um, agave. And this was, it's just fun. It just goes really fast. I just wanted to keep going, but I made myself stop. So you can see I've made one of my, I don't know, is that an agave? I guess print there and I've started just started the second so it'll be down here and I, I think it's on the correct side but here and then the middle size agave or flower whatever you want to call it I think I'm going to be doing three of them for the size I'm I've chosen and then I've got one more of the smallest size up top so it just goes really fast um, I had to find yeah it's just, I'm just looking at it in here it looks really cool um, I had to find a way to help me. Actually, for this one, it, there is a chart um, that there's written instructions. I'm actually following the written instructions because uh, it's just easier. The, the chart is small. I probably could blow it up, and it's really hard to see it. But the written, it, there's no repeat, so the written works just fine. So that's actually what I'm doing for this one. It goes faster than having to count the boxes and whatnot. Okay, and that's the agave. We have some kits. We have more kits coming in, um, some different colors for that. So um, it's been really fun. Yep, that's gonna. That's my mom's. Um, let's see, where do I want to go now? Oh, so yes, the um, Pasadena pullover, and we do have. We get more. We did get more yarns in on this as well. Um, so my saga with the Pasadena pullover. We I have a class. We just we just actually finished the class, and um, I had to tear mine out. This is the front. I had to tear out the front and the back. I actually tore out the front twice, and it really had to do with the placement of the arm holes. So I have them in the right place now. Um, I just I have one more row to finish the decrease, and then I'll just do the arm hole straight up. Again, this is the front. Um, the, it's going much faster. The chart goes much faster now. But it is a really pretty, really, really pretty lace print. It's using the organic cotton um, from Blue Sky, 
and let's see, I'll show you where I am with the back and where I had to tear it out. Ooh, there's the ball. Um, so I have not done the decreases on this. So I finished, can you see it? Chart three, one, oh, did I do chart three? Let's see. Oh, just chart two. I have to start chart three because that's where I started my decreases. Oh, you can see, this is lovely. Oh, what's that? In the middle of it. Okay, yeah. I really just ripped out my needle and yanked it. So um, I will start chart three and like my front, I, my where I got to to do this decreases for the armhole was just about near the end of chart three. So I have um, oh, what was wrong with the armholes? Is that what is that what you're asking? Uh, they were I had the back. I started the armholes too late, so it was really long, and then the front. I started the armholes too early, which would have been fine had the armholes matched. They didn't, so I decided to rip it out. So it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Um, but that's where we are with that. And Pasadena pullover. That's a it's a blue sky pattern. I've got my yarn here. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> do you use? Oh, a lifeline. Is that what you're asking, um, Becky? Do I use a lifeline when I? It just depends. Um, I did not. I um, just pulled it out. This cotton, it the stitches stood up um, stood up real nice. So like when I pulled the needle out, it, it didn't collapse and run. And with the lace work, it was easier for me just to see where the stitches were and grab them. And then I might have had to tink back a little bit, like one row, just to make sure I knew where I was. But I, I don't use a lot of lifelines. I have. Um, I just think I forget about them. Um, so it probably would have been a good idea, but... Anyway, okay, oh, the other thing, and I, I think, what am I going to work on tonight? Do I have it? I had a plan, and I think I just aborted it. This is the in what, Christmas in Flux pattern on Ravelry. We are calling it our Holiday Lights Kit. Um, Alicia from Knitwise helped us come up with some kit ideas. Uh, we, uh, we did do it in fingering. We like the fingering pattern better than the DK. And I also said, you know, we should, let's not do, I didn't like the idea of changing every, for these lights, every row. Does that make sense? Every row of lights, not every row of knitting. And so she came up with this fun yarn that just kind of changes itself, right? So it looks like every light is a different color. Well, I mean, they kind of are, but, you know, it, it, I'm just knitting with the same yarn. It's just super fun. I finished the second row of the lights. Can you see it? I just finished it. Oh, yeah. I did finish it, and I'm, I think I'm on an increase row now, and it's just it's just really fun, and I love the way the lights the is is showing up. Anyway, it's really fun. Um, we have three different main colors: the Christmas lights, and then the um, that's really going to be a tree light too. is is the same in all the kits, but we have three uh, three different main colors: a light gray, um, a darker blue gray, and then this kind of a greeny color very fun very fun and it's just enough of color work you don't have to carry too much and it's just enough to kind of give you a taste give you a taste oh these are my sleeves for the Pasadena pullover I yeah I didn't get very far I didn't touch these very much um, but I am doing the sleeves two at a time and I'd like that's it I just got the ribbing done I figured I want to finish the front I was trying to, to so I could you know help the class um, with that if they had any questions and then I'm gonna do the back so I can see them together because um, that'll be the next questions I get all right so I showed you that one and then the last one I think that I need to show you is Shona so I did work on this a little bit last night and I have um, I'm still kind of in a dilemma like what I'm gonna do I want to go a little bit further. I think they say go three and a quarter inches here on the side, on the underarm. And I think I decided to go four, maybe even four and a quarter. So I have a little bit more to go so that I can start. Let me see which way is the front. Um, start the lace work. So that there's some lace work. And I want to see how the lace work looks in this yarn. I love this yarn. It's so squishy and soft. I just might not have picked it for the right project, but it might have. Like, I don't know. I have to figure that out. 
um, cause I could just not do the lace, which of course probably would take more yarn, um, and make it just a squishy, like tea top, you know, tea. So fun. So fun. Um, she has on the, the arms, I am going to do arms on this. You could leave it as a tank. Um, I'm going to do arms and she has you pick up with a crochet, crochet situation around the neck and the arms. Do I have a picture? Let me show you a picture. And I, I'm, so that, that's the part that makes me really excited because you can use, do a contrast color, um, which I'm all about that. Let's see. Here it is. Mm. Is that a good picture? Let me see if I can find you a better one. Oh, yeah. Here's the side. Okay. So there's the lace. I'm just looking at it again. I mean, it's not, it's not too, too lacy. You know what I mean? It's not like a... And there's a little bit of lace on the arms. So, yeah. And, and then she they've done the in the same color, but in this picture, you can see they did a contrast. So um, that is my plan. That is my plan. Anyway, this is called the Shona Top, S-H-O-N-A Top. It is a DK yarn, a DK weight. They suggest um, one with maybe some linen in it. The yarn I'm using is Echo Baby from Miss Sayer. It's just lovely. And I just wanted to do something with it. And, um, it's a wool um, alpaca, so it's really soft, as you can imagine. Anyway, so I think that's all I've got for you. Um, I, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to going home tonight and doing some knitting, figure out my plan. I have to have a game plan, and I will also post the link to this one, and it is, it's on the tip of my tongue. I want to say something like Uptown or upside i can't remember but i will i will link it um in the comments so thank you all for watching i hope you have a great week i hope wherever you are you're staying cool and having a great summer and um, i'll see you next week take care